Happy Good Friday, everyone. I have a project share. I finally was able to purchase some Heartfelt Creation products before they go um, upload only. I think the end of um, March. So I wanted to get some of their products before they were all gone. So, and and it's right now that they're having a great um, while supply last sale. So if you're having, you know, view their site, go on their site. I think it's, you get $10 off 60. You get, uh, is it 20 or $25 off uh, once you reach 125? And anything over um, $100 is free shipping. So you do get a lot, of, a lot of nice discounts. So of course, the more you order, the, the better the discount. Um, so this is what I purchased. I have two more orders coming in. I did. I made my last purchase today. So yeah, I think I'm done. So I I did want a couple more other things, but I'm gonna. I think I'm done for now. I have so many dyes that I have to try. So I'm, I'm done. Um. So I did get the stamp, the daffodil. I did get the mold. I love these things now. And these are only six dollars whatever is left on the site it, it's six dollars and i did get to die so they had all three of these available when i made my own um, purchase let me show you the other things that i used for my first batch i used the spray i don't like to spray too much i still have to play around with it um of course i used some bling bling and you know this was purchased from hobby lobby and i think this was a D stash if I'm correct this one here that I purchased um, I use some vellum now this is again Hobby Lobby I had to start using this um, and this is no I didn't use this on this project so I'm gonna put this aside it wasn't used on this project but I am gonna try to use use that for some flowers stamp and cut out some flowers of course I used um, some of the flower accessories for Heartfelt Creations. Um, I used also their molding tool just to give it a little rounder shape. And I also, also used the Crafters Companion plaid paper. I love this paper. So let me show you what I created. I'm, I'm gonna show you my first batch. Here's my first batch. It's not too bad. I don't like to spray. Um, so far, I have to play around with it. Maybe I spray it before I actually cut it out, or before I, before I die cut it. So this is my first, and see the little um, beads inside that I use from um, Help Crafters Companion from Heartfelt. So not too bad. So that was my first one. Still, I'm gonna show you everything from the first batch. I think it's only four. Here's my second one, not too bad. And if you want to keep the color consistent, you know, I guess you use the double-sided paper with the colors. But again, this was just playtime, so again, this one's not too bad. I just used not too much of the spray, and I just use a um, a bling inside. Okay, where's my second? I think I only okay. It was only. Three, three. Now this one here I don't like too much because I spray too much of the, the spray in the middle. So maybe I should have did a light spray evenly around. Uh, but you know, that wasn't, it's okay. So again, I'm still gonna play around with the spray. So those are my first ones. So let me show you my second batch, which I, I'm getting better. So the more I keep on with the practice, you know, practice more, the better I get. Okay, here I did use some glitter on the ends and a little bling bling. So these and the plaid papers. And this came out so much better. And I did ink the paper also. So here's another one. So not too bad for my second try. Look at this one, I used the, the bead stems for um the inside of this one 
So not too bad. A couple more to share. So now I love it with the plaid paper for some reason. Here's another one. Oh, th I think this one here was part of my first batch too, because I noticed I used the spray on this one. So this was part of the first batch. So again, I should have did it evenly, but still not too bad. Um, I think just four more to go. I think this might've been part of the first batch too, because I see the spray. So again, not too bad. And I used the blank for Hobby Lobby. Yes, yeah, so I think that was part of it. Anything without the spray was the second batch. Okay, this is part of the second batch. Not too bad. And two more. Oops. Two more here. The first one, not bad. And here's the second one. So you can see I inked it a little bit with, I think, green. I think I came in with yellow. So not bad. So these were fun. I do have, um, if you haven't been over to the website, Heartfelt Creation, I think they're selling their physical product. So they're just going to have uploads on their site, I think, starting in April. So Tom, in um, beginning of April. So you won't be able to find their products anymore unless, you know, someone destashed or you find it somewhere else. But I think that will be done with heartfelt. So they do have while supplies last on their website. So I, I do have um, a couple of purchases I did make came in. So I'm just waiting for the two big ones to come in. So and I think that's it. So I think I, I did enough damage, even though the sales are great. But I think I did enough damage with Heartfelt, so I'll be able to play now and, you know, practice the flower molding thing. All right, guys, that's it for now. I've got a couple more project shares and one D-stash for now. And then I'm going to continue on with um, just playing around with some dyes, some um, making some projects. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay blessed. And happy blessed. Good Friday. Bye-bye.